Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and today I'm going to be doing a psychic reading on fellow YouTuber Shane Dawson, who is considered a celebrity in many respects of the YouTube world. So um, I wanted to go ahead and um, tell you exactly what I see for Shane for the remainder of 2019 going forward, whatever comes in from spirit. Okay, so immediately the first thing that I am seeing here um, with Shane is that he has come to Earth to have a very specific mission here in the physical world. And this involves helping people. He is a giver. He is also a healer. He helps people heal differently than, you know, a, he a traditional Reiki master or someone that is spiritual would heal other people. He does this through his videos, helping other people, um, trying to establish connections and lifelong friendships that would last a lifetime. And he does hate losing friends, losing connections. So that's his purpose that I see here. But it's beyond YouTube. He's grown into this um, huge, huge channel and has had so much success in his YouTube career. Um, he is one of the OGs. So for those of you that don't know who he is, that's what I'm giving you a little bit of backstory. But what I see for him right now is that in his home life, there is something coming up within, I want to say within the next three months or so before this year ends i know that he is with uh is it ryland or his his partner um and i don't i've watched some of his youtube videos but i don't watch them all um primarily because i'm always busy but i need to binge watch uh some of shane's videos um but he is a very sweet and kind person um very giving but when it comes to his own um what we see on the tv i feel like our, our behind YouTube, you know, on YouTube, we see something that's a little different than who Shane Dawson really is. And I'm not saying that he's not, in a, he's inauthentic. He keeps it real. I feel like he is the same person. But with off the screen, I feel like there's a lot more rawness to him where we see him, uh, we, we don't see, you know, him having these meltdowns or feeling more insecure. But I feel like, you know, his life is not picture perfect. We all know he's had eating disorder issues and struggling with body image and it's something that I think that a lot of you that would be tuning into this can relate to but I feel like there's something not right when it comes into his home um, either there's some peace that is um, sorry some peace that is being disturbed um, either by a friendship that goes um, raw a wrong or um, I really feel like this is a friendship and it's going to affect him and his partner where um, their home life may not be very peaceful. There are scandals that are coming up around uh, Shane. Again, he is not someone that gravitates towards scandals or is a scandalous person. But when I do tune into spirit, I feel like the next couple of months are going to be kind of chaotic for him. There's a lot of uh, energy that is not going to be very pleasant. And this has to do with, again, some of the people that maybe he has worked with on a professional level. Um you know, fellow YouTubers and, and friendships that he has. Um, he's a very trusting person, but some of these people are snakes and they hide in the grass ready to bite him. And uh, I'm just saying this not literally, but figuratively speaking. And so Spirit is wanting him to really just know that it's going to be a lot of uncomfortable changes, but positive ones for his growth and for his betterment. Uh, and he doesn't need toxic people around him. And that's what spirit is saying. Um, when it comes into his work life, which is YouTube and his merch and things like that, you know, I see him looking as an entrepreneur more at maybe opening other types of avenues or business. I see doors basically being open for Shane over the course of the next two to three years. Now, this could be him having a company um, where he's providing more merch and, and helping with that. But also, I would not be surprised to see Shane get into the beauty world. Um, he is drawn into that. But, you know, this could be like a palette or something that he kind of has his a collaboration with. But I see something coming up with that as well. I also feel like um, music is cathartic for him. There is a lot of therapy. So 
um, you know, he used to sing, I believe, and, and also act, if I'm not mistaken. Um, these are avenues that Spirit is wanting him to kind of con reconnect to his roots. Because I feel like, you know, YouTube has become engulfing and it has become his whole life or whole existence in some ways. And so for him, I do feel like he is going through an awakening where now it's like shifting things are, you know, he's had success on YouTube. I'm not saying that he would someday just go away from YouTube completely, although he could, but I don't feel like that's going to necessarily happen. What I do see and I do feel and what I hear from spirit is that he is kind of like realizing that there's more to life than YouTube and he has to live in the moment because I feel like he's lived for so long behind his videos and being so committed to that, to his podcast, to all the different projects that, you know, Shane has been involved in, um, you know, kudos to him. And he's going to continue to have that success, but I see him kind of branching out. I do feel like there is a strong female, um, either friend, I want to say like a friend that is like very motherly to him that does give him a lot of good insight. And I know that he has worked with the psychic twins before, you know, on getting that. So I do feel like he has, you know, a good group of people that support him and that would have his best interests at hand. However, um, Spirit is wanting him to really kind of take a look better at the people that are around him. Some people are just social climbers and will do something to get something back, you know, and that's the the part that I feel like Shane kind of is more reserved and is not very trusting of certain individuals at, you know, when he first gets to know them, he has to really get to know the person before trusting them wholeheartedly. Um, but I see him going through some, some good positive changes in his work life. There is going to be some of him, you know, over the next year or so where he's going to be more firm. And I feel like we're seeing a more of a stronger version of Shane, almost like the Phoenix rising from the ashes where he's going to actually be putting a stop to haters, to people and cutting, like I said, cutting unhealthy situations out of his life. Um, as far as his relationship with his partner, how long is that? You know, a lot of people have scrutinized or have really looked at into his, his love life and how that is going to continue. For the most part, I do feel like they are soulmates, you know, here in the physical world. So I see that continuing to, um, to be there, you know, they are meant for each other. And this is something that Shane had hoped for a long time. Spirit is saying, you know, for him to have met someone that that really um, understood him and was his rock, his ride or die. And that's what I feel. There is um, something about him moving away, though, moving away. Now, I don't feel like he's going to move away from California, but it's quite possible, you know, that he will look into buying other properties at some point in his life. Um and I feel like there is a journey, a trip that he would be taking. Spirit is talking about Europe. And I feel like this is a time to treat himself. I know that he has a lot of phobias or, um, you know, he's very precautious about things. And he, like I said, he's a very sweet person. But I feel like this is something that he needs to do, like um, taking a journey to Europe. And I keep seeing Europe and hearing international travel for him. Um, and, you know, this could be very well part of his like a, some docu-series or something that he's working on his YouTube channel. But I see him needing to do this and kind of disconnecting from YouTube for a while because he needs to, you know, kind of recharge and uh, gain a better perspective. Um, he is someone that has to pr constantly protect his aura. So uh, I definitely would suggest him to carry selenite and black tourmaline crystals because he is someone that would definitely be attacked. There's a lot of people on YouTube who are jealous of Shane and his success. I'm talking about fellow YouTubers. Sure, they may, you know, have partnered with him and are happy, you know, in front of the camera. But I feel like a lot of people, again, are inauthentic and, and they may be rooting for you in front of your face. But behind your back, they're talking crap and really um, not really your friends, so to speak. So um, for him, you know, I see this, this trip is necessary. Um, and he'll continue to be working hard. Now, 
he is getting very open and I would say he is he does have some intuitive abilities himself and this is something that he's known for quite some time you know I feel like he does pick up on energies or things around him he doesn't really talk about it or label himself necessarily as a psychic but he is very much someone that has those abilities um, and so what spirit is showing me is that you know over the next year or so he's going to get even a more connected to source to God source to his spirit guides to his angels and he's going to be receiving a lot of synchronicities it wouldn't surprise me if he sees 11 11 333 you know repeating numbers all the time um if he is also you know maybe experiencing some deja vu moments because i feel like he does he has recalled some of his past lives before either like being in a dream that is recurring or just kind of like feeling that he's been in a certain place before um when he looks at a, a show or reads a magazine or reads something you know there's some form of like social media recalling his memories of a past life and so um i see him going through all of this um there's something legal coming up as well either um, he sues someone or there's just something legal that is coming up. And I see that in the foreseeable future, what spirit is revealing to me. And he comes out of Shane comes out of this feeling kind of like um, he won this, you know, it wasn't his favor, but it wasn't necessarily what he wanted to do, but he had to do it to protect his name. And so, like I said, there's a lot of things that we may not be aware of that he will keep more on the down low because although he has exposed a certain part of his life to us on camera, I do feel like he does keep certain things to himself and he should. You know, we all deserve to have a little bit of privacy to our lives and to what we want. Um, when it comes to um, a strong male. There is someone, I don't know if this is like a manager or someone on his production team, but there is someone that comes across as very authoritative and just kind of someone that he would be clashing with ideas and saying, hey, no, I'm not comfortable doing this. I'm not comfortable uh, talking about a certain topic. Um, and I see him, you know, kind of mourning someone. So there could be someone that he is a fellow YouTuber that is going through a disorder um, or something and it just, you know, all of a sudden they end up, you know, transitioning into spirit. And um, I don't like to say those kind of things because that, that's kind of scary, but that's what I'm seeing um, from what spirit is showing me. Um, he is also really intrigued by the other world and by spirit. So he is a conduit to spirit, attract. Uh, attracting spirits, attracting um, energies to him. Um, and he's learning now how to control a lot of this. I see him needing to be more social, getting out of his home. His home is a safe place. It is his um, his protection, you know, f against the world. I feel like when he's around large groups of people, he gets anxiety or gets overwhelmed at times and it just depends on where he's at but i see him kind of reverting back to uh being more like you know someone that is more introverted and stays at home and this is what he has to work on over the next two years spirit really wants him to kind of you know um move away from uh, being more of a homebody and moving in and traveling and living in the moment and taking in fresh breath of air and and all of that and he will have success in that now health wise i cannot diagnose anyone because i'm not a doctor so this is definitely not a diagnosis but what i can tell you is what i see from spirit as a medical intuitive so what i see for shane is that he may be, be yeah, he may be going through some um abdominal issues around the lower intestine um this could be like gastrointestinal uh, inflammation, definitely like some something like food poisoning is coming in very strongly, something that he has to watch with that. I also get some change in his vision over the next two years. Um, specifically, I want to say with his right eye, um, I feel like that may be the weaker eye and his left eye is a stronger eye. So again, I don't know. But I'm just going off of what spirit is telling me. And I see him going through that. I also see him wanting to go through some type of medical procedure. Again, and this could be a cosmetic to enhance, to um, do something, you know, to his body to perfect it 
for what he feels, but he's beautiful inside and out. But I feel like, again, there there may be something self-conscious that he's contemplating, like a minor procedure, and he really doesn't need it. But Spirit is saying for him to be very cautious about it, um, because I feel like if he was to go through it, even though he's healthy, his he could fall into a depression later on, um, because sometimes when we go through all, um, all, you know, some type of alteration in our body, surgically speaking or cosmetically speaking, um, we can sometimes look at old photographs and it triggers, you know, painful memories or you don't feel like you're looking at the same person in the mirror um, when this happens. Now, interestingly enough for his partner, I feel like his partner may be going through some issues himself, seeing things that again, that I have mentioned are patterns and kind of being a little hard on Shane at certain times, but very loving, very supportive, and will help him get through it. I do feel like there's a lot of people that don't love the fact that he is with this person. And I just feel like it is all about, you know, creating rumors and starting shit. And if they're not careful, there is a possibility, you know, down the road that their relationship will be tested in that kind of manner. Because again, I feel like, um, his partner is a very sensitive as well to energy and at the same time is very protective of Shane. Um, so much to a point where, you know, if anything were to happen, I feel like if these two were ever to separate, I feel like it would be really like soul crushing for both of them. And they would both have issues that they would need to eventually get therapy or get some kind of, you know, um, uh, because they're so connected um, together and being that they're soulmates, they're kind of connected to a point where they can read each other's mind or feel what each other is feeling or kind of like just vibe that way. That's how they, um, get kind of like together for Shane. I don't feel like he is necessarily falling into the name brand stuff, but he does have friends around him that aren't very much into the name brands, kind of bougie, etc. And he definitely needs a reminder that money is sacred in that um, even though he's, you know, I don't know, he has money, whatnot, that, you know, keeping it basic and simple is the best course for him. And he has never let really fame change him. If he has, it has always been for the better. And I feel like that's going to be who can, who Shane continues to be, um, helping other people. There is also a book. I keep hearing that he will eventually come out with some kind of memoirs or a book, uh, on his point. And there is something about film work, um, something that is being pitched. Um, it could be like a, a series, a comedy series. I don't know something about film work for him. So I hope that these messages resonate with Shane. If he happens to listen to this, Shane, if you happen to listen to this, I absolutely love and adore you and all of Shane's fans and, um, anyone that, you know, listens to this, that is a fan of Shane or his partner, um, or any of his family. So I want to thank everyone for tuning in. If you did like this reading, please, please give, please give it a thumbs up, share it. Um, and if you'd like to um, set up a private reading, my website is listed here on the screen. It's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Um, and you can also follow me on Instagram and at Facebook at Psychic Medium Ray. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing, amazing day or night wherever you are in the world.